Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for today. I want to tell you that I am a huge fan of the rainbow. Huge fan of the rainbow. Though the rainbow might be a source of anxiety for you, it might be a source of uh, division for you, of angst, or it might be a source of, um, of pride, so to speak. See, the rainbow has been adopted uh, probably started around 1978, um, has been adopted by the gay community and the LGBTQ community. And so it's looked at as a symbol of support for, that, for, for those individuals and their rights. And, and if you are a, a Christian uh, or, or maybe even a Jewish or, or of some other religion, uh, that flag that uh, symbol of the rainbow might um, might make you a bit uneasy because in scripture it says that God condemns sexual immorality and it brings up some of those behaviors that might be associated with LGBTQ. So, so now the rainbow has become somewhat of a source of, of, uh, of division or anxiety. I'm not going to say a whole lot about the LGBTQ or my stance on anything except for this, that, um, that those who uh, ascribe to LGBTQ, they are human beings that God has made and they are precious and they have a ton of value just like me, just like you, and all life is precious. And we're going to get to that right now. In the book of our scripture for today, in the book of Genesis, chapter 9, verse 16, God says, Whenever the rain, he says this to Noah, whenever and his sons, whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on earth. This is a covenant. This is an everlasting, tight bond that God has made. A deal that is beyond all deals. A covenant. This is the Noahic covenant. And so, the beneficiary of this covenant is all living creatures. That's me. That's you. That's... Uh, anybody else that you might see, and it even includes the animals. The animals. Squirrels, mice, um, giraffes, elephants. It includes all of, the, uh, all of the animals as well. God made a covenant with every living creature in the world, and the sign of that covenant is the rainbow. Let's take a look at what this covenant is. It seems pretty important. This covenant is that God will not utterly destroy everything like he did with the flood. He put Noah and his family and, and two by two animals from all over the world into the ark, and then he flooded the world, rains and everything for 40 days, and the world was flooded for 150 days, and then, they come out, and all life is utterly destroyed. God was cleansing the world of the sin that had taken over, and the depravity. And now, Noah and his family are starting over again. But that didn't end sin. That didn't end sin. And God saw how horrendous and awful it was to wipe out all these people and all these creatures that he had made. And so, he made a covenant with Noah and a covenant with his sons and all living creatures here on earth that he would never utterly destroy all life like that again. We are all beneficiaries of this covenant and it tells us just how precious life is. God doesn't leave it there. He does give us a way to be cleansed from sin. And that's through his son, Jesus Christ. When God himself comes, 
and sacrifices himself uh, on the cross and takes our sin upon himself and dies and rises from the dead and life everlasting is something that is possible. And the cleansing of sin through Jesus brings us all into true life. Friends, the rainbow is a wonderful symbol of God's love for us and how precious all life is and that we are secure. And now we have an opportunity to have true life in his son, Jesus Christ. God bless you.